Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I just want to do a quick update on the uh, major in this indexes for um, Malaysia, Hong Kong, China, and also the US. So, for Malaysia's KLCI, I don't think there's much that has changed. I think it's still hovering around this channel. We can actually enlarge this channel a little to somewhere like this. Uh, then it will be from this high. So I think it's still hovering around here. It's not really breaking out or breaking down, but um, it's still going, um, forming lower highs and lower lows, uh, just like this channel. Lah. Okay, it's heading down, uh, which is not really a good thing, but uh, it hasn't really been heading up since 2018. Okay, so even during the COVID time and everything, with all the stimulus, the, the, the interest rate reducing and everything, it's still... Uh, there still isn't much change lah, okay? So it's still downtrending. Um, the small cap is, I wouldn't consider it as a major correction. I still see there's a pullback first. We see whether it will come back down here. Okay, uh, this is actually the point of resistance. If you actually zoom into this zone, you will see um, this was previously here. Then it came down and when it reached over here, the next day it gapped up. Okay, so this is actually the resistance you have. Uh, similar to this, this is the previous resistance area. Okay, so uh, I still see that it's not like it's going to, you know, uh, drop down badly soon. But the down candles is not that um, nice to see at the moment. Okay, you you can see that the, the up candle here, uh, that, uh, this chart does not have volume. But I assume this volume will be quite small. Okay, the candle is also not big and then the down candles has been quite big okay this one almost engulf um the green candle which is not a good sign lah okay so um the market may be going for a correction or a pullback soon uh, based on this chart okay but there are you know there are thousand and one possibilities uh this is just one of my assumptions which may or may not happen uh, for example, like this head and shoulders, if you actually look at it, uh, if it is supposed to like break down over here or over here, it came down a bit and it went back up, so it actually failed. Okay, so the same scenario may happen here. This is just uh, something that I, uh, I am looking at from the chart. Okay, um, next we go over to the Hang Seng index. I think this index I posted quite a few times in the group. I do trade this index uh, on and off when it's uh, bearish or bullish. I don't trade um, the warrants that are available in Malaysia. I I prefer to use M Plus Global direct trade the warrants CBBC warrants because it's much more sensitive. Okay, so if you pick the correct trend, if you if you feel it's bullish and you pick uh, when it goes up slightly, you already start earning. Okay, compared to your HSI warrants, which uh, may take quite some time to be updated because that one needs quite a lot of movement before you can actually reflect. Okay. So, it, I mean, it's up to you, but I, I, I use CBBC, lah, okay? Um, coming to this trend, um, I think in one of my first videos when I uploaded, uh, I spoke about um, it actually being in a downtrend, and uh, it's actually uh, an uptrend in a downtrend, okay? If you actually look at any charts, any chart, whether it's going uptrend or downtrend, uh, there will always be a it, it kind of a, you can either say it's a stairs formation or you can say it's kind of like a zigzag kind of thing okay so for example if you have um, a, 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 an index or a stock trading in this channel so it, it won't literally go like this okay this one is quite impossible it will usually go something like this then you rebound okay there will always be a kind of zigzag pattern nah, which I think is what is happening here so when i say you have a bullish momentum in a bearish trend it will be something like this so when this part this part when you go up uh it is actually bullish because it's going up right and then it goes up then it goes down back okay then it goes up so this whole trend is bearish while um the small trust up is actually bullish okay so that's what i mean when you have a small bullish trend uh in a in a bearish uh, channel okay which i think is what's happening in hang Seng lah okay if you see it's actually still downtrending you can see that the index is not able to break out from this um downtrend line okay it has attempted almost four times lah okay one two three four this one broke out then failed okay so uh i think in one of the very first videos that i did uh, i did mention um, that the Hansing index uh when it created a new low over here of course it won't beat this low over here uh, when it created a new low over here uh, it rebounded 
okay and I anticipated that you will rebound to about this area 18540 okay because this was like the previous support uh, but it has rebounded a bit further so it, it's facing resistance over at this area of like 18900 okay so that's why you can see the candle coming up here okay it was like quite a strong bull push the candle is coming up here and then got resisted over here okay so uh, if this continues i think you will form another new low lah, okay uh, for the short trend uh, uh, downtrend line it's here okay you will go something like this then you'll form a new low then you'll come back up then you will rebound again okay so um, i think housing is back downtrend but we'll wait to see lah because um there's a lot of stimulus coming from the government side to actually um boost the stock market okay i don't know how effective that will be uh, like for the other day the market was boosted by i think china's uh, evergrande default something like that i'm not so sure so a market turned green okay well um uh, the i mean i think because property sector is one of the sectors in the index so it kind of turned green lah, okay so we you you have to wait and see but the candle is not encouraging lah, okay it's very bearish actually like today this full body candle is actually very very bearish okay similar to like this it continued going down okay and this also okay china index um a big gap down red candle is never a good thing lah okay so uh it's kind of like a downtrend sideways kind of thing uh but it's still i mean it was downtrend then here it's kind of like sideways if you draw a trend line you will see actually this one cannot trend line now uh, it will be something like this okay um there isn't a straight line to it lah okay maybe you can use some moving average averages okay then you will see it's actually all going down lah okay 200 days moving average is above 150 and also 50 which is like a kind of like a downtrend confirmation lah okay um but actually if you look at it it will be high then lower high lower high lower high lower high you know all lower lows as well so this area is like a bit of a consolidation um but here look a bit like head and shoulders already lah you know one shoulder one head and maybe forming another shoulder and then it will just break down lah okay market is quite bearish at the moment uh for the hong kong and also china side okay now uh, we move on to us uh we'll go with s p 500 first i did mention that i see a head and shoulders forming which i think is going to materialize so you have something like this okay and then a, a head and then a shoulder over here okay uh is it looks like it's happening lah okay and if it happens you will you 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 need to anticipate that our oh, market just opened uh you need to anticipate that it will drop quite a lot lah okay maybe from sorry sorry maybe from uh, this high over to here and one to one so you will drop to maybe this support four thousand maybe maybe i'm not so sure okay but this is a uh, this is kind of like a very bearish uh, scenario that you see lah okay actually you see here is kind of like an inverse head and shoulders instead uh, this is the shoulder this is the head and this is another shoulder then you form another shoulder and then only break out okay so uh, it, it, it may happen lah may or may not happen okay uh, this is for the SMP uh, Dow Jones like I mentioned previously is actually the same it's quite similar to what is happening in the SMP which is a uh, shoulder and head and then shoulder okay i mean the shoulder hasn't fully formed lah. okay i don't the dow jones is green today uh but i saw pre-market just now like not very good okay um then the last one is nasdaq nasdaq is the only one that's not really following uh the others but it doesn't look very good already now okay if you see i think when i updated the chart the time it was something like a double top kind of thing it was something like here i think i don't remember uh but now you can see it's coming down okay is it looks like it's also forming a head and shoulders like this okay so if it does uh we will see the market coming down quite a lot lah. and uh, i think nasdaq has kind of been supporting the entire us market with uh, nvidia meta okay maybe we'll come out to somewhere here 13578 i'm not so sure i'm not so sure okay this is just uh, my own personal opinion from a breakdown level okay uh, it may come to about this level lah, okay and if it does then I, I i i don't know whether that support level will be able to support the market at that point of time or not it will depend on like um the earnings of the companies at that point of time okay and then uh, russell 2000 
okay i didn't delete this one so you can see this one also kind of materializing lah okay a shoulder head and then another shoulder okay so if let's say this continues um for the malaysian market i think cash is king uh it's best to protect your capital um rather than you know trying out there will, when when market turns like this there will be multiple uh fake breakouts okay what do i mean by fake breakouts is uh let's say ptrb okay this stock this one is kind of like a we thought is a okay we we thought it's kind of like a successful breakout over here okay you see this is like a resistance okay and then came up to here broke down back and then came up broke uh, down up again and then came back down badly okay this is like a fake breakout lah okay uh, i think another one is ybs okay this one you see uh first cup okay correction again then correction again so it's like a three cup vcp and then all of a sudden the qr come and then boom okay so when a market is bad you will encounter a lot of such things whereby um stocks are not able to break out and follow through the next day okay you will see a lot of things like this lah and if let's say you are buying you are buying stocks okay uh this is not a buy or sell call. Uh. I'm talking about any stocks. Okay, you buy the stock. I I mean any um stocks which have fundamentals. Okay, not the goring kind of thing. Goring one can pump and dump so very easily can go up and down. If you are like you know really buying the stocks, uh, which have strong fundamentals. Okay, uh, once you buy already and then it break out and fail. Okay. And then you tell yourself, it's okay, I'll try again, I'll find another stock. And then you try again. You try again, you see a nice pattern, you buy, and then it fails again. Um, it's not, you, you can just look at, look back at whether you're doing it correctly or not. But it, it does not necessarily mean it's your problem. Sometimes, um, before the general market crashes, um, stocks with strong fundamentals have already crashed. Okay? It's the same as... Um, stocks which have strong fundamentals will build bases while indexes are still bottoming uh, and break out the moment the index has finished bottomed okay so uh, that one maybe when we uh, when i have time i will do some case study to show you all okay uh, but as of now no lah so if let's say this happens then you should be aware that the market is no longer um uh friendly to you okay it's it's good it's quite bad okay it's literally going to be red so um for the malaysian market just keep cash lah okay um don't don't kind of you don't don't have the you know a lot of people have this mindset like uh i throw my money into the stock market i'm supposed to use the money to earn even more and when my money is not buying a stock it looks like it's wasted okay no uh when you if let's say a stock is now one ringgit and the market crashes the stock goes to 20 cents you and you put your money inside there you will only get back 20 cents at the end okay but instead if you stay out of the market and the market crashes to about 20 cents you you can buy five times the amount of course i don't think you will reach one ringgit to 20 cents uh, but this is just my example uh. so there is actually nothing wrong in keeping capital when you feel the environment is no longer um, bullish no longer safe okay so that's for the malaysian market for those who are actually very good in trading uh, you can actually short the US market. Or you can actually even short the uh, Hong Kong or China index. Okay, uh, I do uh, short using the M plus global lah. Okay, so um, for those who sometimes it's some people itchy hand lah. Okay, they just can't they just can't live without trading. They just can't live without doing any transaction. So you have to do something right. Uh, if you really want to do, uh, go lah with small amount. Okay, just to satisfy what you want okay your 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 i don't want to say last or what okay you you just have the itchy hand that you just want to trade okay then you just go and trade and don't don't use that big of an amount lah okay when in a bad market um you can actually short the market like in us you also can short the stocks okay uh for those who are hands-on with options you can go ahead play put options which i'm not hands-on so i don't do it okay and we you see how the market turns out lah okay uh that will be all i think the market is doing quite bad i think hang Seng is bleeding quite badly okay it has already come to about 18.01 yeah around here it's quite bad lah 
okay it's really quite bad so but it's kind of anticipated lah because this is really a kind of a bullish trend in a bearish environment lah okay the only good thing no lah when it when it broke out from here we thought it's going to form a higher high but it didn't lah okay so it's really quite bad okay so i think that'll be all for my this video i'm trying to keep it short but i i, I know it's a bit long already just a uh, 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 just to update you all about the index and if let's say the environment is not favorable to you then keep cash lah okay cash is king okay that'll be all for today thank you bye bye if you like this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos